Some clergy members are expressing concern at the messaging they're hearing at these briefings. Uh, Reverend Aaron Dick of the Gateway Baptist Church in Surrey um, recently wrote a letter to uh, Minister Dix, and he writes, uh, I quote, uh, I feel compelled as a faith leader to request that people of faith be given the respect that is so overtly presented to every other particular group in this great province. The constant condescension by Dr. Henry purporting to tell us what faith is and the endless patronization as if the government understands anything at all about what constitutes faith itself, let alone its practice, has long past worn thin. Dr. Henry, what's your response to this? You know, I, I think um, sometimes people take what I say and, and twist it to make their own ideas about it. I have repeatedly said that I have taken um, advice and had had the privilege of speaking to many faith leaders in the last few months. And I appreciate their advice immensely. I have learned a tremendous amount from them. And I have said on occasions what has been told to me about beliefs and about faith. And I do absolutely believe that we need our faith leaders in crises like these more than ever before. And I really want to, to give my thanks and praise to the many, many leaders out there who have sent me um, their advice, their thinking, their thoughts, and the fact that they do understand the need for us to, to take measures to protect those that we care most about in our community right now. And I think, you know, we need to realize that there's fundamental differences between um, some of the things that we are, that, uh, I'm sorry, I've just lost my train of thought around that, that issue. But, you know, I don't purport to know everybody's ideas about faith. But I do know that there are great leaders in our community that are stepping up every day and supporting the people that they care about in their congregations and doing it in a safe way. And I just want to salute them. They have my gratitude and my admiration. Uh, Tom, I, I guess I'd, I'd say to, uh, to Reverend Dick's, uh, Dick, uh, uh, in this in this case, because, uh, he sent the letter to me that we have uh, from the beginning, I think, uh, listened to and reached out to faith leaders in BC to uh, hundreds of them, and uh, I have a little bit of understanding of my idea of faith. I don't think it necessarily uh, will be everyone's, but I can tell uh, Reverend Dick that in uh, our church that we've lost a lot of loved ones this year including our minister and that the loss of being able to come together on Sunday has been profound for members members of the, that congregation just as they have been for congregations around BC and I am overwhelmingly inspired by the work done by faith communities of all faiths of all denominations to support people in their community in a difficult time and so uh, all I can say is uh, it's not uh, condescension, it's gratitude that we feel for the support we get in our community wherever we find it. And for many people, that's in communities of faith. So um, we're, uh, we're with you and we're asking you to join us in helping uh, in this period uh, to help heal, heal ourselves physically and protect ourselves and our good health and also uh, stay healed and stay better as a community so uh, I think the, that's uh, all I can say to this that uh, I think uh, Dr. Henry has been unbelievably respectful I so admire her approach when uh, she uh, talks about kindness which is at the core I think of, uh, of faith of many faith views as well uh, she lives that every day and I'm so so proud to stand with her and I just so disagree with uh, the criticism that came in the letter. Tom, do you have a follow-up? Well, um, Minister Dix actually anticipated my uh, follow-up question, so I, I thank you both for your responses. Mm 